I've got a new appliance to help me with my holiday entertaining and it is my new air 51 bottle wine refrigerator. I am so glad to have it and I can't wait to get it unboxed. Let's get it started. registration certificate so that we can register the product and then is the little booklet that tells us all about it the owner's manual new air a name that we can trust and I already know that because I got my new air freezer over there that I've been loving so of course they want us to read all the instructions before we actually try to use it remove all packaging got all that kind of stuff done Oh, okay, I'm glad I looked at this. So before plugging in your wine cooler, allow it to stand upright for three hours. So we'll be sure to do that. And the reason why you leave it upright for at least three hours before you plug it in is because there are some materials that are in it, the refrigerants or whatever, and they may have shifted during shipping. So we need them to settle in the appropriate position so that's why you put it in an upright position for three hours or more before you plug it in. So it's been more than three hours, actually it's the next day, and so now I can plug it in. As I said earlier, you have to have it in an upright situation for at least three hours before you can plug it in. So I just let it sit overnight and so now we're going to get to seeing what's what. Now one of the things you're supposed to do when you set it up is to make sure that the refrigerator is level. So my husband got out his leveler and we can tell by the little ball in the center that the refrigerator is level. However, there are some little feet that can help you to determine that. For example, there's a little foot right there that you screw down to help make sure that the refrigerator is level. Now why am I making a point to talk about the levelers? Because when I unboxed my unit and we set it in place, it was a little bit wobbly and we thought one of the feet were missing, but actually it is not. There is one adjustable foot and you just have to adjust it and then everything is good to go. So don't make the mistake that I did thinking that, oh, something's missing because it's not. You just have to do your part in adjusting the foot. The other thing to be concerned about is that there are at least six inches behind the refrigerator and there is and then about 10 inches on either side so that you've got plenty of ventilation space. There's information on the back regarding precautions we should take when operating the unit. After all, it is a refrigerator and is not a toy. And then down here you've got the other innards that go along with the refrigerator. But I've got it plugged in and you can see right away it comes on, I can hear it humming like you hear like the refrigerators, but it's very, very quiet. And you can see right there it says 68 degrees. So let me get the booklet out and then we'll take a look at the different little controls. Okay. So as you can see here now, I've adjusted the temperature. It's going up. I'm trying to get it up to about 51 degrees, but it does take a little bit of time to do that. But I did need to use the dual control button to unlock the panel so that I could raise the temperature up and down. So that's a good safety mechanism because it prevents a child or someone from pushing the buttons and lowering the temperature. So I'm liking that safety feature. So you can see there it's come up to temperature, which is about where I wanted it to be for my red and my white wines. So now that we've looked at the controls, Let's take a look inside the refrigerator. There are seven shelves in here and they will hold 51 wine bottles. So you can put your white on one shelf, your red on another shelf, your sparkling wine on another shelf or whatever you want to do. But some of the shelves are of different sizes like this one's a little wider than this one. But let's say you had a really fat wine bottle. You could take out a shelf if you needed more space for a particular size bottle. 
But here's the thing. Don't take out shelves just to take out shelves because for those of you that have little ones that are running around your homes, be they children or grandchildren, children are curious and we don't want to in any way have a space big enough for a child to crawl inside. So if you take out a shelf, make sure you fill that space with something else. Let's turn on the light. Look at that nice little blue light. But one of the nicest features is the smoke glass mirrored front. It provides the protection to the wine bottles inside from the ultraviolet light that can come from the sun. And of course, the most important feature is that it keeps your wine cold. You can set the temperature to range anywhere from 41 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit, and you can always change it to Celsius if that's the temperature showing you prefer. I want to thank New Air for reaching out to me to share this 51 bottle wine refrigerator with all of you. I am so excited. I'm going to be putting this baby to good use. The holiday time is just around the corner and I will be doing lots of holiday entertaining. And then of course New Year's. So I've now got the perfect receptacle to house my wine bottles and to keep them nice and cool for my guests. And New Air was also kind enough to give me a discount code that I am able to share with all of you. I will link it in the description box and also pop it up on the screen. So be sure and take advantage of these savings. Again, if you've got holiday entertaining coming up, you're going to want one of these. For more homemaking and homekeeping inspiration, click here.